back here in Buffalo, tied at one here with John Tavares. And John, Steve Brilli before the game said, sticks on hands is going to be the key for the defense to shut down the Philly offense. And your D guys have certainly been pretty physical here in these opening moments. I think our defense has been playing great because Philly's had the ball often. They've had multiple resets. Defense is holding them. Hold hold and them. now, got to fill up your wings. And the Buffalo ba and Buffalo Bandits, we have a tie score. We have tied the game so far. So now let's get this thing out of the way. I know lacrosse game is definitely is. It's definitely one of my favorite sports to watch. And I've been watching it since one year ago since last year. Impressive. Buffalo was even able to get a shot off there. Three wings defenders converging on, converging on Kluche. He lost the ball. Field scoops and gets a shot away. Ten shots for Philadelphia, eight for Buffalo. Here come the wings again, down into the Buffalo zone. Kevin Crowley sneaks from the slot, takes the shot, saved by Matt Vince. Rebound to the left side of Matt Vince. Blaze Reardon was there. He'll dial it right back, resetting the shot clock. Reardon, top of the slot. Crowley with a shot high. Fielded by Vince and an outlet pass all the way to Nick Weiss. Tipping at the top of the slot and Bird. Tic -tac, what? No. Rebound, Philadelphia. Couldn't get back out. Couldn't quite connect on what would have been a beautiful tic tac toe goal. Baptista's there from center. Clearing it back over to Ben McIntosh. Now to Reardon, dabbling in the corner from the far side is Matt Rambo. Rambo shooting the ball, saved by Matt Vince. Rebound to the near corner. Philadelphia resetting the shot clock. Brett Hickey way outside the restraining line to Reardon. In the corner to a deking Rambo. Twirling. Good defense by Justin Martin. He takes a shot along the boards. Jarring the ball free, but Briola picks it up. He's got McKay with him at left. Tipping it down into the far side. Spanger out there as well. Smith with a shot. Pickens makes the save. Whoa! That almost went in there now. Clearing it back out. Guys, the offense couldn't get out on that possession because that check on Martin here right along the boards closed the That was went in there, but it didn't go. Not today. Crowley from the far side, tipping it down into the corner. Low drive, Bird. Stopped by Matt Vince. Feels like Philadelphia settling a little more for their shots from the outside. Buffalo doing a little better getting inside. Yeah. Here comes Buffalo in over the line. Cal Buchanan ties things up from the restraining line. Focuses in, low drive. Higgins with the safe rebound, jumps out in front. Philadelphia is all there. In and out of the crease, though. This is going to go to Buffalo. Zach Higgins is saying, I pulled that into the crease myself. I'm allowed to do that. Officials deciding if the defender pushed it back to him. And they decide that Higgins grabbed that himself. No in and out of the crease. Kyle Kaufman is the crew chief tonight. Andrew Ecclestone and Mark Hines, the referees. Jeremy Bailey at the shot clock, and he's been busy tonight. Two minutes left to play here in quarter number one. Score is tied at one. Chase Brazen for Buffalo. Matt Rambo for Philadelphia. Reared it down to the near side to McIntosh. Getting close. Let's it go into the far corner, picked up by Buffalo, cleared back out to center. And it's picked up by Nick Weiss, who fields it right back over to a Deacon Day Smith. Ben Smith, he scores! What? No! Now the Buffalo Bandits head just broke the tie. What? Impossible. Impossible. And clear the way. The whole of the offensive line. Dane Smith able to drive right down Main Street because Nick Weiss just put on the bulldozer and opened up that lane for him. And Dane Smith able to beat Zach Higgins low, but Nick Weiss doing a ton of work on that goal. Second point of the night for Dane Smith, 24th goal. Wow. So they broke the tie. Let's see if we can make a bounce back or a comeback. Let's find out. 
What? Uh oh. And like we said, he's second in the league in scoring, but he has some games in hand on Joe Russell Terrence. Uh oh. Uh, we'll find out, but uh, it feels, certainly feels possible. We got a holding penalty coming up here against. Uh oh. Uh -oh team in the National Lacrosse League. It is Philadelphia coming into this evening's game. 22 on 42 opportunities for 52%. Max Adler mad at himself for this. He That's for the Buffalo Bandits. Loses the draw and tackles Baptiste out trying to get a, a scrum going. And uh, he whacked a stick on the glass going to the box. He knows it's a bad penalty. Buffalo is sixth overall in penalty kill. Now for the Philadelphia Wings, as for my team, we have a power play. I really love college sports, but much more. I'm so glad someone is on defense. That's good. Oh! oh. Smith wants a penalty call there. Felt like he got tackled down a little bit trying to drive the crease. But Chase Frazier, what a great decision to hold the ball. And unbelievable athleticism to kill that much of the penalty. 35 seconds left to play here in quarter number one. 2-1 two, one, Buffalo. Philadelphia on the power play. First of such on the evening. Crowley, near side. Leaving it back over to the quick stick. Corey Small. But it's picked up by Buffalo. And Steve Briolo. Tipping it back over to the side of Nick Weiss. Who will then shut it down. And leave it for the penalty kill team. It's, it's almost play. time for the second Stop period. Clock is shut off here. Ben stays in and, the yeah, it's almost time for the second period. So we have a good game so far, but we train by a, a single single goal behind the Buffalo Bandits. And we just finished the first period. So the first period is over. So the score for for this one is one. Um, actually, it's two to one, actually. But we got one, and the Buffalo Bandits got two. So we are close by a single goal now. We'll be back.